Hello, wonderful people. Yeah, this is a 2.8 kV fireman generator. So I want to teach you guys how to set a valve for this generator. So this generator refuses to start. So if valve have an issue, the generator will refuse to start. If the valve is not well set, it could cause the generator not to not to start. So let's check out the generator. Let's check out the generator, as you can see. So I'm going to put on this gen, you see, it won't start, I don't just know. So what I'm thinking is the valve that is having the issue. As you can see, the gen is not starting. So what could be the cause? And again, it doesn't have compression. It doesn't have compression, as you can see. So I'm gonna set the valve right now, because you see what's going on with it. So make use make use of T10 to lose this valve cover for the second. So, I want to teach you guys how to set a valve for this generator. So, if you find this video helpful, please kindly subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, please kindly comment. So, let's check it out. Let's see. After I move this block up for user removal, as you can see. So we remove the valve cover of the packing. Remove this, put it aside. Put it aside. As you can see. So first thing is what this is what we're gonna do. So this is a valve. As you can see. So so right now the piston is up right now. As you can see. This one is downward, as you can see, downward, this valve is down, as you can see, it's very strong. So let's see the clearance of this. So if the clearance is going to know how the valve is set or not. If the clearance is much, there's probability for the hand of the generator to be very, very strong. Yeah, to, to, the pressure will be too much. So as you can see, this clearance is too much. So we're going to make use of a razor blade to check the clearance, as you can see. Make use of a razor blade to check the clearance of the generator. So, as you can see, this clearance is much. As you can see. So, we're gonna make use of 14 flat by ring and a T10 to adjust this. As you can see. So, adjust this. So, I'm gonna take this to the left and take this to the right. Okay. Yeah, I'll lose it right now. So, we're gonna adjust this. Adjust it. Tighten it a little bit, a little bit. Checking, so make use of the razor blade to check the clearance. Clearance. Yeah, so we have to reduce a little bit. We have to adjust it a little bit. Adjust this a little bit. As you can see. As you can see. As you can see, As you see. As you can see there's a clearance now. So it's, it's tight to this, uh, to the carpet valve, as you can see. So we're gonna tighten, tighten it this way. So just to make, make sure this thing doesn't shift. I tighten it, tighten it, as you can see. So as you can see, it's set now, yeah. So we're gonna set this, um, the inlet. This is the inlet, why is this the exhaust? So we're gonna set the inlet. So we're gonna drag it for this um, for the piston to go downward. So it's gonna this one's gonna, this one's gonna go downward. This um, exhaust. So I'm gonna drag it right now. And watch. You see there's a movement in the path. I drag the gen. See that's going downward. So we're gonna set this the inlet. Oh, this one is too strong. It's too strong. Uh, it's not supposed to be so we're gonna reduce release it a little bit you know release it a little bit so check the clearance which is with your as you can see clearance is okay it's your razor blade as you can see clearance is okay so we remove it back we remove it and we want we tighten it make sure your hand doesn't shift make sure your hand doesn't shift Yes, make sure your hand doesn't shift. 
so we tighten it you can see you can see the clearance is now okay so we can start the gen like this without covering it but there's a spill there will be a spillage of oil from this side but let's just test it with that first before covering it with a valve cover so let's cover it and start the gen so let's start the gen right now let's see to see so we're gonna pull on there to see as you can see the gen starts right now so that's how to set a valve for a 2.5 kV generator so let's cover this back let's go right back let's see let's go right back and let's check the settings again before covering. So the setting, as you can see, is very, very okay. So we're gonna cover this back. If you have any questions, please kindly, kindly comment below. I'll gladly answer your question. And if you find this video helpful, don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel. You can see we've tightened this back. We will met it before. Yeah. So insert the five hose. So let's try it once again. Let's start it once again. Wonderful to pull. Let's start it once again. Love you.